Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look into how do we get the number of unique observations or the unique observations by themselves. Uh, so, so how do we get uh, what are different uh, unique observations in our data set? Uh, and uh, if we want to get the list of those unique observations from our data set. So for this, for this example, I'm going to use the NLS work data set, which is the national a longitudinal survey uh, of young women. So we have, uh, the data looks like we have certain ID code which represents an individual. Uh, then uh, this is the year in which that data had been collected, their birth year, their age, their race, and the number of hours that they have uh, put into work. <clears throat> so before we move uh, forward, I would like to, uh, uh, I would like to limit this data to the variables that we are interested in rather to have all this list of variables that would uh, create clutter. So we would just uh, remove the variables that we do not need. We would stick to ID code, age, race, and hours. So let's just save this, this, uh, this data. Uh, the reason I have saved this data is that because when I move forward, I'm going to uh, destroy this data set while working with it. I am, and I might need to import a fresh copy of this data. Uh, so instead of downloading it and then deleting the, uh, or keeping the variables that I need, I just save it and I would just import the data that I just saved. Okay, so first thing is how do we know what are the unique number of observations? Although we have 28, we, for, from, from the right hand corner, we can know we have 28,000 observations in our data set. <clears throat> but how many individuals do we have? Like, we know that each individual is assigned an ID code, uh, a, a, a single ID code, right? So we need to know how, uh, how many distinct ID code or unique ID codes do we have in our data set? And that would tell us uh, the number of uh, individuals that we have in our data set. So for that, we use codebook. So codebook is not just for the unique uh, observations, uh, but it would give us an idea of that variable. So we use codebook and the name of the variable and it gives us certain uh, certain data. It, it tells us what is the type of the data. It is integer, uh, its range, uh, its number of unique observations. So we know that we have 4,711 individuals in our data set. Uh, it's missing values, different percentiles, mean and standard deviation. Although the mean and standard deviation would not make sense in ID code because these are the code that we have assigned. But if we do the code book of ours, then we know that uh, on average, the, the, the individuals that we have in our data set have put 36 hours of work. Okay, we can do uh, multiple variables, but that would not give us the number of unique hours in each ID code, but that would just display the, uh, you know, the, the data set of these both variables, right? Again, we can limit it based on the conditions. So we want to see how many unique observations individuals we have whose age is greater than 40. So uh, we are just interested in unique observations in this video. So we are just going to focus on this and not on the mean or standard deviation, etc. So we know that we have 916 individuals whose age is uh, greater than 40. So that was one way of doing it. Uh, we have multiple options and I'm just going to go through multiple options because sometimes when you're working with the code of other people, so you know that uh, what that specific command would mean. The next command we are going to use is contract. And this uh, contract command is, uh, this contract command would destroy the current data set and it would uh, just give us the uh, the new data set. So let's say we want to know that how many <coughs> unique ID code do we have. So what it would do is it would, uh, it would give us, you know, it, we had 28 observations, 28,000 observations, and it, and now our data set had been limited to 47, uh, 4,711 observations, which we know that this is the number of individuals that we have in our data set. So what it did is it, uh, it dropped all those uh, duplicate values and just gave us the 
the uh, the unique values, unique ID codes, and their frequency. So we know that uh, the first individual have twelve number of observations. The sixth number of individual had a uh, fifteen number of observations, and so on and so forth. Now, because this data had been uh, destroyed, because we just discussed that contract would destroy the data and give us a new data set, so we need to re-import the data again. We can also have, uh, uh, we can also know that how many, uh, you know, within each category of age, how many unique races are there. So we are going to get uh, unique values for the combination of two variables. Uh, so for 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 age fourteen, we have black and others. Uh, this is the race category and. Uh, for, for the age 14, we have two black in our data set, two black individuals in our data set. Similarly, for age 15, we just have a single black individual. For age 16, we have 16 individuals, uh, white individuals and 11 black individuals uh, and so on and so forth. So it is giving us the unique values and their frequencies are based on combination of different variables. We cannot just have their frequencies we can have the percentages, the cumulative frequency, and cumulative percentages. So let's again re-import the data. And now we are going to use the frequency option. And within parentheses, we give the name of the variable that we want to assign. Because you see that currently it is assigning uh, underscore frequent uh, uh, FREQ uh, name to this variable. But we want to give it uh, uh, the name that we like. Similarly, we can get percentages and the name of the variable that would contain percentages, the cumulative frequency and the name of the variable that would contain the cumulative frequency and cumulative percentages. Okay, so let's uh, get this uh, data and execute this. So we know that we have a 6% uh, individuals in the age of 16 that are white, right? Uh, Okay, so we can uh, also exclude missing value uh, and do the calculations, uh, all these calculations by not including the missing values. And for that, we would have to use no miss uh, option. Okay, similar to this, there is uh, a user written command which is called distinct. And obviously, whenever you're working with a user written command, you would have to install it using ssc install and the name of the command. So I've already installed it. I'm not going to execute this command. If you haven't, then you need to execute this, this row. So what, uh, so let's again, we'd have to import the fresh copy of the data because we had destroyed it using the contact command. So distinct ID code, we know that there are total of 28,534 observations, but there are 4,711 distinct ID codes. We can do distinct race, ID code age, multiple combination, but uh, not like contract command. It is somewhat similar to the code book command. And what it would do is it would just give us the number of observations and the distinct observations for each variable so not based on multiple variables so it wouldn't give us distinct observations based on multiple variables we can also limit it using certain condition so distinct id code if age is greater than uh, 40 and we know that it is 916 individuals there's another command which is called unique so again it is a user command so you have to install it we just do unique id code and it give us the observations and the unique values we can do we can do uh, two different variables so we just have to do it individually we can also do conditions over here now till now what we have done is we have just got the number of unique observations what if we wanted a list of those unique observations and the easiest command for that is the tablet command. So we do tablet and the name of the variable, and we get the distinct observations uh, for, for those. Now, in the ID code case, there are too many observations, but 
let's do tabulate age and we we get uh, we get the uh, each age and its frequency and we get the distinct values obviously we can know what the distinct value of age is we can do obviously multiple uh, that would multiple variables that would be two way tabulation uh, but again this does not store these values it just displays them in the output window this tabulate command what if we wanted to store these values in a macro and then use those values for a for each loop and uh, let's say uh, for that we can use the level of command so we get the list of unique values and store that in a macro so we use level of uh, id code and that stores this uh, that gets us the again values not just not store them it just give us these values and we can uh, we can display uh, uh, those values but we can save them in a local uh, macro uh, so what we do is we level we get the levels of id code variable uh, and then we store it in local macro called values and then what we can do is we can loop through each value so for each i i is, is just a variable that we have created uh, it wouldn't be displayed over here but it would be a local variable a macro uh, of the local values so for each uh, in for each value of this uh, list stored in this values local we need to summarize age if id code is uh, i so for each uh, level we have we are going to summarize it so it is going to summarize uh, age for each uh, individual so that would take quite a lot so ju just break that again uh, it it stores the distinct value in a local macro but it does does not give us those values in a variable we can store these distinct values in a variable and for that we are going to use by id code so for each id code generate a frequency variable that would be equal to one or zero uh, if that is a fast value or uh, or not so if i can show you the data so for each individual the first value would be mark one and the other values would be mark zero again for the second individual because this is the first value it would be marked one and the rest of the values would be marks zero and the uh, the idea is that we what we can do is we can uh, keep if the frequency variable is equal to one and that would give us the distinct value and remember we had four thousand seven hundred and eleven if i want just want the id code list i would just keep the id code and drop the other variables we can do multiple variables but let me just get the fresh copy of this data uh, so let's just say we want to uh, get the a list by age and race so we we apply the same concept so for each age uh, for each race it gives us uh, one in the first observation so because this is this this is the repeated uh, age race category it gives us a zero over here this is the this is a unique age race category it would give us one and then if we keep uh, if the frequency is equal to one and that give us the list of uh, age race uh, unique values right so so that's uh, it for now and i hope you learned from this video do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon thanks for watching the video